What's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. Make sure you don't miss it, so go ahead and set an alarm right now. It will only be live for 48 hours, so you do want to go ahead and cop the hat because after that, they will no longer be on sale. Anyways, moving on to the story time. This is something that I wanted to talk about like for a while now, but ju I'm just now getting around to it. And I know a lot of my viewers are young, which is when this event happened to me. And I want you guys to actually learn from it. So without further ado, let's get on to it. So I forgot what release date this was. I think it was like 2015, 2014. I know it was in 2016, but either 2015 or 2014, one of those two years, these shiny blue foams came out. It was like gray on top, shiny blue in the middle. And then the bottom, the outsole was a icy blue outsole. I personally did not like foams, but this is when I was in the reselling. I had a few buyers here and there. I was able to get three pairs. I didn't want to get too many because I didn't know like how they would sell. I always had this one buyer that will always pay resale no matter what. And out of three pairs, he bought one and I was left with two. But the thing with the two is that I actually only ordered two and I ended up getting three because I ordered a size 11 and then a size eight. But apparently with a size eight, two of them came in the mail from nike and i was surprised i was like wow i can't believe i actually got two from nike that completely shocked me so i went ahead and tried to pair on to be honest the foams just look really weird they're really bulky and the the laces go all the way to the toe and it just looks really weird i didn't really like that so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and sell both pairs so eventually i found a buyer for one of the size eights and the other size eight i couldn't get rid of it and back in the day i don't think stock x existed or go or i know consignment shops existed but i wasn't really into sending them and then waiting for them to be sold and all that and I didn't really know how all that worked. Even if Stock X and Go existed at the time, I didn't know about them, so I couldn't really sell my shoes instantly like that. So then one day I was on Instagram and I saw this page. I think the page's name was Sneaker Seller. Yeah, I think it was Sneaker Seller, something like that. And he had a bunch of pictures, a bunch of pictures of just every single Jordan you could think of. Back then, Adidas weren't really popping like they were now, so it was just Jordans mainly back then. And he had every single sneaker I would possibly want. And my favorite one was the Hair 7s. I really wanted the Hair 7s. Be, I don't know, it was just so nice. It was like the white with the gray, like the really light gray, and then you had like the fruity tangerine mango looking colors. I don't know. It just looks so nice. I really like the Hair 7 at the moment. It was my favorite shoe. So when I'm scrolling down the page and I find the Hair 7s, I click on it, and I see that he says he has a full size run. This was before the Hair 7s even dropped, like the most recent release. So he had like the 2008 ones apparently. And this is where the red flag came in, where I looked at every single one of his pictures and they all had full size runs. That's a red flag anywhere. No, I mean, I'm not saying no company should have full size runs, but it's very rare that any company is gonna have a full size run of any shoe unless they're fake or they're scamming you. But at the time I was young and stupid and I didn't know. I was like, I was just so hyped to get this shoe. I was like, no way, I'm about to get this shoe. And I'm, I, I asked him, I was like, yo, would you do a trade for these blue phones for your hairs? And he was like, yeah, sure. And he seemed cool and legit and all that. And that's the thing with scammers. They will seem legit to like the very end and then not show their face anymore. So this guy was being super cool. He sent me the address to send it to. Here was another sketchy part. I sent it to like, I don't know, New York. It has a lot of apartment buildings. I sent it to an apartment. I don't remember the address, any of that. So I don't even know if I sent it to an apartment, a warehouse or what I, where I sent it to in New York. But in New York, things are just, I don't know. I don't even know how you can get mail to the right places because it's so congested there. So I looked at the address and it was an apartment and I didn't know anything about New York at the time other than there was just a bunch of apartments. So I was like, whatever, let me just send it and hopefully he'll send his shoes back because he did have a good amount of following on Instagram. So I felt like I trusted the man, but there was just red flags everywhere that I didn't really pay attention to at the time. So once I sent the shoes, I kept them updated. I was like, yo, here's a tracking, this and that. Like I was being 100% with this guy. And then eventually I saw that the shoes got to him and I DM'd him and then he blocked me. I looked his name up on Twitter where people can talk about him and a bunch of people were saying negative stuff. And at that moment I was like, damn, did I really just get scammed? And then people were like sending him hella hate. And then he blocked me on Twitter as well. And then eventually he just ended up just deleting both accounts. They, never, they didn't exist anymore. So I was I was bummed out because like, I know I got the pair of shoes for free, which didn't really hurt me that bad, but I knew I could have made money off of it. So that's what hurt me a little bit because at the time I was young and of course money meant a lot more than it does me now. So I was like, damn, I could have probably bought some other pair of shoes with that money. I mean, not the whole thing, but like that would that money could have went to another pair of shoes or whatever the case might have been. I was just so bummed out. I was like, no way, I just got scammed. I went and told my mom and she was like, I told you, don't trust nobody. I learned my lesson basically 
always look for the red flags if it seems too good to be true it most likely is in the sneaker game because or anywhere it just it's very rare they're gonna get a dead stock pair of 08 in your size when this company has a full size run so if you ever see companies selling a full size run of older sneakers then i would just stay away it just it's not like especially if they're dead stock that's just not that's sketchy but if you guys see that somebody has like a full size run of royal ones and i mean that's more believable but still like just be very aware when you're buying sneakers that aren't from consignment shops any re resale cons or resale consignment uh, apps i guess you want to call them like goat stock x slang overall just be careful be aware even if you trust the company still like take that little extra step and make sure that your shoes are authentic because i'm sure like so many shoes pass by these consignment shops. The probability of one of them being fake out of like a hundred, it's one percent. That's low, but it's still possible. Like you, you never know. Still, these fakes are getting really good nowadays. And going back to Instagram, as far as buying on there, don't do it unless you actually know a seller that's gonna do like PayPal invoice, which is the most secure way, in my opinion. Then go ahead and do that, but make sure it's invoice. Don't ever just gift anybody money. Even if you're a seller, the buyer can still scam you when they gift you money. They can be like, they can send you a thousand dollars and then they can go ahead and call paypal and be like oh i meant to put a hundred and then they'll take that one zero out and then you're screwed out of nine hundred dollars so just invoice everything be very very careful and for you young viewers out there or anybody really just don't fall for the thirst of sneakers they are just sneakers and i know you're really hyped to get them especially yeezys but in the end of the day they are just sneakers and if you miss out you miss out just wasn't meant to be eventually if you're meant to get the sneaker you will if you really want something you gotta work for it you really 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 gotta work hard for it my biggest advice for you guys would be work for your money but don't just work for it just for sneakers like work for that money maybe invest it a little bit into something out of that money grow some more money so you do have money to spend and then you still have that money aside to make more money if you guys know what i'm saying it's a little more complicated which that will be a video i get into later on maybe on my vlog channel not my vlog channel on my other channel or on this channel my other channel really isn't a vlog channel anymore it's just a channel of like everything but this one is still strictly about sneakers so yeah don't fall for the thirst trap if it's too good to be true just stay away if you guys have any questions to ask me go ahead and just leave a comment down below you guys know me i'll answer the majority of comments and questions that you guys leave as we approach the end of the video i do got to give a shout out to today's fan of the day and today's fan of the day is vl03 lua or I guess blow Lua. I don't know. We had we had a good conversation about the whole LeVar Ball thing. Even though it was a debate, it was still good communication between us two. So big shout out to you. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers so I can give you guys a pair of Yeezys. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneakers signing out. Alcatraz. Peace.